Hi, welcome back. In this clip, we are going to continue with integrating Pesta Webhook by first setting up the payment interface. As you can see, I've already logged in into the cPanel. So if I should click on File Manager, then I go to the folder, then to the view, then I want to create a new file. So let me call the file paste tag underscore webhook dot php. All right. So let me try to get the where the file is. Okay, this is our paste tag webhook. So let me try to open the file. All right, the file is now successfully open. So the next thing I want to do now is to go to paste our website. So as you can see, I want to use version two. So migrating from inline JS version one to version two. So you can read about the documentation. So when it comes into embedding the inline JS, you have the option of installing in as dependency. So you can use a NPM or onion, but me, I will be using the CDN. So all I need to do now is to grab this, then add to my file, then I paste this. Let me close it first. This is script. All right. And let's have another script, another script tag. All right. Then we want to declare a function. Just a function. And we don't know the name of our function for now. So, so let's go back to Paystack website. So I click here. Then, as you can see, if you are using npm to install Paystack, you can see how you can import it here. So it's as simple as that. Then. The initialization here we have a version one we are not going to use that version one then this is according to them they say dank that is so old school in version two we drop the open iframe method a transaction can be initialized like this so let's move on to version two then this is the part of version one here is version two now so let's copy the version to now let's copy what everything we have here a bit there back to our file so i paste everything here all right so now so let me get the html form so i come to accept payment then the html i copy everything here i grab it then back to my file Okay, let me move this one a little bit. Then what I've let me paste it here now. All right. So you can see the name of the function being used here, how they call it here. So we are going to make use of the function here. So I'll grab it here, then go back to our function, then I paste it, then the call it braces. I close it here. All right. So let me try to save the work now. So I click on save changes. All right. So let's try to run our code. So I open another tab. Then we say paste. So oh, sorry, we said um, drama. Then the name of our file here yeah, should be paste underscore who. Then okay, now. Let me remove this CPANI aspect, then I can now reload the browser. All right, as you can see, we are having the logo of the website here now. Let me try to remove this aspect. So all I need to do, let's go back to the development environment. Then here, let's have a PHP. Use it here, then just say o -O -O -B 
be underscore pin. All right, then let's save it again. Let's go back and reload the browser. All right, you can see it's better now. The logo is gone. Let's go back and remove the down aspect. The one at the bottom, the footer. So another PHP. And close it, then exit or die. Anyone you prefer. So you save it again. Let's run it. Our browser. Okay, everything is gone now. So I'm not going to go into styling and the rest. So you can do that the way you want to style it. So I'm just going to leave everything the way it is. I don't want to spend much time on the video. So now having done that, so the next thing we are going to get now is the params. So that the parameter. So let's go back to the paste tag then let's go to version one you can see the parameters here so i grab everything here the key, email and amount then uh, come back to my development environment and paste everything here all right so having done that the next thing we need to get now is the public key and we need to log in into my paste tag dashboard so let me quickly do that Okay, I've successfully logged in into my dashboard. So I will need to go to preferences, then API keys and webhooks, then go a little bit down. Then the test part is where I will grab the, the public key. You can see we have a secret key and public key. Since I'm working on inline JS, which is the front end, then I will need to use public key. So I will grab it here. You can see I've successfully grab that then come back to our development environment then i paste the public key here so that is done so as you can see here now we need to make everything dynamic we have a static uh, value here so we need to change it to dynamic value so all i need to do is to remove everything here then i will now say document dot get element element by id all right so let me go and get uh, the id attribute of email so this is the id attribute and the value is email dash address i grab this then I paste it here now here I have dot value then i do the same thing for the amount so I grab the amount, paste it here, then the ID attribute, the value is the amount. So I grab this, right, then go back, change this to amount. Right, where well, we have uh, the our sources method here. So let me grab this, remove these comments. Then, then let's just add like something. Let's say add like. Then that is all right. The string interpolation. So I will paste everything back. Then grab this. Then say dollar. Then we put what I grab inside the the curly braces. All right. Let me save everything now. All right. So. Let's go back to our browser and I'll try to see how everything looks now. So if I should reload the browser and if I should try to fill something here now, I click on the button. All right, it's reloading. So what could be the problem? Let me try to inspect. All right, of caught syntax error, unexpected token. Okay seen on line 41 so let's try to see what is going on here line 41 line 41 okay that's fine okay let's try to terminate uh, this all right let's go back to our browser and load again
okay another token the three okay no problem let's go back okay what we are having here let me remove it let me save it again let me reload the browser okay i think the error is gone now let me try to fill something here now i click on the pay button all right you can see well okay it's still refreshing so you said that i have two options so you said that i try to put a parameter here and say e not say e dot prevent default okay save so let's go back to our browser then try to refresh all right let me fill in something then click on pay button so it's still refreshing okay so since that's that's not working let me instead of having submit here let's turn this to button button all right so let me remove this then refresh the browser so if i should fill in something now all right you can see it's working now all right so if i should fill in my card details and oh there's one more thing that we need to do here let me go back to our file then here as we have the value here so we say times times because everything is in Kobo. so let me refresh once again then i fill in everything click on the button once again all right we have 1000 here then click on sources we fill in our card details then i click on pay button now you can see payment successful and this is our reference number as you can see now so that's how to go about it so we have successfully worked on the interface so in our next tutorial we are going to work on the webhook so let's do that in the next tutorial so if you like my content and would like to see more of it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel